I don't want to make an, an assumption, but I think a lot of people are maybe afraid to talk about that sort of thing or to have it be part of their... And when I say talk about it, I'm not saying, hey, look, hi, I'm waving my hand, look, this is my faith, this is what I... No, but just have it be part of their, their business, um, maybe for fear that it will impact their business, right? Yeah. Um, do you feel that overall it's impacted you because the way you practice your faith, like it's it's there, like, you know, if you're paying attention. Yeah, you can't miss it. <laughs> There's no missing it. There's so no um, missing it. do you feel it's impacted your business in a positive way or negative way? Or what? what's your feeling on that? I, I honestly feel like the blessings have been coming down. Like I was talking the other day. Um, someone asked me, you know, for business advice. She's just starting out and she's starting a business. And I said, the number one thing I can tell you is just make sure you move yourself out of the way and allow God to shine, shower blessings on you. And my business has grown in 10 years more than I ever dreamed, more than I even had set my goals on. Like my goal was once my kids are old enough to go to school, that I wouldn't have to go back to work to the hotels and work those corporate hours, the meetings, the hustle, the bustle. I always wanted to just work for myself doing what I'm doing now. And the business, I've, I've now gotten to a level where I've well surpassed any amount I ever made in the hotels. And I know it's not just because of me. Like, it's from above. It's just, it's just the way that I'm meeting clients, the introductions I'm getting, the types of clients I'm meeting. It's, it's just... It's divine. I mean, there's no other way I could describe it. That's, I feel like, help, a major helping hand in my business. That's awesome. So, yeah, I, and thank you for sharing that. Business and bourbon.